Hello viewers, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn how to create a calculated column from related tables. So usually when you create the calculated column, you use the columns which is present in that table. However, today we are going to learn how you can use another table column and create the calculated column in a desired table okay so uh, just uh, before starting i like to recap on uh, characteristics of uh, calculated column so calculated column increase a model size because you can see visually a calculated column in one of your table the second thing is they can increase the data refresh time as well because of their uh, dependency uh, on the other column uh, in a tables. So uh, basically uh, it's going to take a time to recalculate, uh, depend on the values in other columns. Okay. Uh, and then um, the calculated columns are allowed to create in direct query mode as well. However, there is no, you cannot use the aggregate functions. Okay, so let's get started here. I will open my uh, Power BI. So here we are in Power BI report view. And as you can see, I have a couple of tables here in a fields pane. And we are going to use a product category table and product subcategory table. Let me show you uh, them in a table view. So our product category table has a product category key and product category. However, the product category key column is hidden on the report view. Okay. On uh, the product subcategory table, then we have product subcategory key, product subcategory and product category key. Both key columns are hidden. So we have only on report page we have only product subcategory okay and all these tables are related so you can see that they are related with each other okay now let's go back to the report view and i want to uh, create a column uh, in this product subcategory table and i'm going to right click here and choose a new column and I have now formula bar uh, let me increase the, the size so you can see and I'm going to give a name uh, to it is product um, category full name okay so product category full name okay and uh, I'm going to use a related function. I have to use a related function because I wanted to use a column from another table, which is our product category table. Okay. So related. And then um, I'm going to use a column name is product category and then product category. Okay. So okay so product category okay then uh, i'm going to use n percent because uh, we wanted to um, we wanted to create our column which has a product category then split then space and then dash and then space again and then product subcategory okay so n percent and then in a double quote with the space and dash and double quote again and and percent and I can use it straight away by using my square bracket um, a column name but the best practice is to give a table name as well okay so uh, let's give a table name so product subcategory and then product subcategory and then again no key product 
sub category okay so i'm going to enter now uh, i'm sorry i have to give a uh, i have to give a closing bracket here and so we are fine now i'm going to enter okay so now we have our new column product category full name let's use that in a in a table so i have my table visual here and i'm going to use a product our new calculated column which is product category full name and a sales amount um, sales amount okay so as you can see let me uh, increase the so you can view um now as you can see that our expectation was our um, column name should be using our product category and then product subcategory uh, and they both are in the separate tables However, we could be able to make our calculated column using a related function, okay? And then their sales amount. Okay. So this is all about in this video, guys, that how you can create a calculated column using uh, um, columns in two separate tables. Uh, the tables must be related to each other, okay? Uh, if you like the content of the video, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching.